So let's go through these three areas real quick. Firstly, thoughts. The things that I recommend to people are, for example, mindfulness. Mindfulness has become more and more popular. Uh, it's a form of meditation if you don't know what it is. Uh, and it's about learning several different things, but among other things, it's got many principles, but among other things, mindfulness teaches you how to just be neutral. Relate neutral to situations, but actually relate neutral to your own thoughts. You know, because it's our reaction to our thoughts. There's a quote in cognitive therapy that talks about it's not things that disturb us, but it's our reaction to things. It's not our thoughts that disturb us, but it's our reactions to these thoughts. It's not situations that disturb us, it's our thoughts and our reactions. So mindfulness tries to teach us to not be judging our thoughts, judging things as good or bad all the time, but, be, but being very neutral. Mindfulness also tries to teach us about being present and having focused attention in what you're doing because that's one of the challenges when you're stressed your mind wanders away think about all sorts of things that are not helpful but actually i called i call mindfulness sometimes a type of attention training because you just train how you put your attention on your breath or sound or your body whatever the exercise is and whenever your mind drifts off you just return so it's teaching you in a way to regain control of your mind where uh, you you learn to focus you learn to focus your attention you know they talk about the monkey mind because the mind hops all over the place mindfulness wants to train that monkey to be still you can say it that way so mindfulness is is, is very very good one of the other things is finding meaning anything that helps to find meaning and purpose for that individual tasks that give meaning and purpose relationships that give a sense of meaning and purpose focus on that you know that will help that person uh, with their thoughts because one of the things again people experience is like oh what's the point of it all when i get stressed like this for example with their job focus on learning you know some people get excited by learning getting new insights you know so reading books watching documentaries taking online courses anything that boosts your learning now people are different that's why i always have so many different things for them to try i, try, I always say it's like a, a menu at a restaurant choose what works for you try out a few different things choose what works for you yeah so people who are into learning gaining insight self-actualization self-improvement they need some form of learning listening to podcasts reading books they need something that gives them a mental boost that helps reframing is another thing that's one of the most fascinating things don't have time to go into a lot of detail here but it's basically a cognitive uh, cognitive uh, therapeutic method of, of, of what they call cognitive reappraisal it's just changing the way you think about something and reframing is fantastic I had this client the other day because she managed to change something around and see it more positive I had a client where she was a bit frustrated that her boss was very far away, was never present. Her boss was even in another country. But at one point she just said, she, she did this fantastic reframing where she said, actually, maybe I shouldn't complain so much. Maybe it's positive because the other departments, they've got some new bosses that they don't like and that stress them out. So maybe it's better not to have a boss present all the time than to have one that actually is giving you a hard time and you're finding it difficult to work with. So reframing is a lot about changing the way you think about situations. It's like I mentioned earlier, just by changing your perception of yourself as someone who can cope better with a situation, you can, you can feel better, you can reduce stress. By looking at the situation and say, okay, this is not a problem, but it's a challenge that can be overcome, for example, that can also help. Having a problem-solving mindset where instead of thinking, oh no, I can't do anything about this, oh no, poor me, but saying, actually, let me look for solutions, let me think solutions here, let me think possibilities, that can help too. And so lastly, having a positive mental attitude with, uh, that is based on, for example, gratitude. I always give people gratitude exercises, you know, a lot of people talk today about these 21 day of gratitude exercises where you wake up every day and write down three things that you're grateful for. You know, I often give my clients the task, write three things every day and either a person, a thing or a situation that you're thankful for in your life. And then in the evening, look at something specific from that day. And again, try and find three things, persons or situations that you're grateful for from that day. Gratitude helps us to focus on the mind of positive because 
partly what happens when your brain gets stressed it just notices the negative it just notices those things that didn't work but with gratitude you train the brain to focus on positive things too